if you follow any of my other projects, you'll know that I'm pretty uh, particular about how I store my parts. And this will all look familiar to some of you. Um, as I pull the pieces off and strip the fenders, I'm actually labeling these and putting them in there. Now, chances are these aren't going to be in bags as long as, say, the Bridgestone motorcycle parts were uh, before I sold that. But in fact, um, this is a great system. Like you see, here's all the fender connections, half inch, 9 16 7 16 um, I'm going to salvage much of these parts, and I can tell by this, is there's not much left of that, but uh, I'm going to keep it together. It's got the original numbers on it, uh, and this, uh, uh, the lens is good, so we'll save that. And the outside is good, so we're going to save that. Less money for having to replace uh, parts you don't really need. Uh, and then, of course, the fastener. They'll all go inside the... They'll all go inside uh, the bags and labeled so I know where they came from. Um, got the Mustangs uh, badging. Um, they look like they might be aftermarket, but they're still sturdy and good. But we'll keep those. Um, the only thing I didn't save was was the little clips that punch into the fender because they're well, we get those and they're they're pretty trash, so you don't need to save those. Um, and again, we got pieces here. These are the stops for the hood. You on the fender, strip those. But you know, cars a billion years old, so we got all these parts laying around that aren't going to be any good. So we'll toss those. But I don't want to lose the connectors either. Um, so that's what we'll do. We'll pull all these together, log them in, and uh, continue on.